Scorpio, hi. Welcome to your weekly intuitive reading. I hope that you're doing well. We're going to start your reading off with the soul's journey. See what comes through for you this week. Feeling a lot of energies, a lot of energies in the mix for great change and transformation for us all. So this is a message for sun, moon, or rising in the sign of Scorpio. These are general messages, so take what resonates for you and leave the rest. Try not to build a story. If it's not resonating for you, most likely the message is not for you. Check with your other placements or any of the other zodiac readings that may stand out to you. All right, Scorpio. What are the messages for Scorpio? There's a storm above me. I expected it to be sunny and nice outside, and instead it's raining, which is fine. But I realized that this is actually the tail end of this giant um, hurricane, which I think is now Tropical Storm Lee, that is kind of lashing its way back around here where I live. And that's interesting because energetically, I feel that there is a giant storm that is headed for some, some who may not have been fully seeing their truth or seeing the truth of how they have treated themselves and others. And there's the storm that is sort of swirling around them right now that is um, really kind of stripping away the veil, the, the, the mask that they hide behind. And it's bringing up a lot of awareness, a lot of emotions, a lot of feelings that they don't really want to admit to or feel or see. And as people go through their dark night or awakening, realization of the deeper truth. They project a lot of blame, a lot of um, projections get out into the energetics of all. And there's a lashback, a tail lashback that kind of comes swooping around towards those who may have been harmed or hurt by others. So basically, long story short, in the energetic world, I'm seeing a, a, a large storm of dark energies that are being stirred up within people that are not living in integrity, not living in authenticity, not living in their truth. And if they have still some shadow or darkness that is coming up and swirling up out of them, you know, the ego mind wants to place blame, project blame outward. And so you could be one that's feeling some of this lashback of energetics. I did a video yesterday on this uh, a little bit. Um, I've done other videos on psychic attacks as well. The energetics of how we feel um, uh, energies that are coming from someone else. They're not our own. Okay, Scorpio, that's a message for someone because <laughs> no cards came out until just now. First card out, we have Envy. And that could be, I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. You may be feeling the energetics of others who may be, um, may have been hiding behind a mask, but actually either deep down, they are envious of you, envious of your light, envious of your uh, psychic abilities, Ooh, envious of your knowing, your intuitive knowing. And this could come out as a projection of judgment. I'm surprised that card didn't come out. Maybe that will be the next card out. Where people start to place judgment on those who are different than them. Even though deep down they're actually envious of them because they want to be free too. And they're afraid of uh, being judged by others. 
This could also be reflected back to you. You may have, um, <laughs> can't make it up, Scorpio. All right, we're, we're um, confirming what just came through me here. So um, taking it back, you can always reverse roles here if you feel that this is something that you are going through. But I'm feeling this is a projection towards you energetically at this time are those who are envious of your light those are and who are envious of your authenticity of your senses your mystical abilities your intuitive senses of your just ability to see through the bullshit and um be your own true self and they placed a lot of judgment and a lot of blame a lot of shame a lot of they tried to knock us down tried to knock you down Tried to bury you. However, uh, tried to have you doubt yourself. Thank you. Yes. Doubt yourself. Doubt your abilities. Doubt your path. Doubt also says I release the need to know all the answers. And Scorpio, you are definitely the investigator of the Zodiac. So you're like, I need to know. I need to know I'm right. All, all this stuff that I'm sensing and feeling and seeing you know, looking for confirmation all the time. Stop doubting yourself, Scorpio. We have loneliness at the bottom. You could find yourself um, very lonely in this quest at this time, or just finding yourself in some form of solitude, or lonely on your path, wishing that others would actually get you, understand you, and really kind of buddy up with you so that you could become more and more of a powerhouse than you already are. There are They are coming, I'm hearing, <laughs> but the important thing is that we um, get out of our own way. Uh, if you find that you are alone, that may also be because you're not fully trusting others um, that because you have been so um, lashed out at, broken down um, because of those who have had envy on you and judgment placed on you and really had you doubting yourself, doubting your abilities. Um, we kind of go into our shell and don't want to re- visit, um, repeat history with other people. So it's easier to just be a solo mission. Uh, we have gratitude below that. Be grateful for everything that has gone down for you, Scorpio, because that has built you to be the powerhouse, the very wise old soul I'm hearing that you are and trust trust in your abilities trust in yourself but also open yourself up to being more in your inner child your childlike qualities of joy happiness uh childlike wonder and trusting trusting that there are other people on your path there are other souls that are in the same alignment as you that you can manifest to be in your life be a part of your journey and you're part of your path trust that not everybody is uh, like those who have projected their um their nasty nastiness which really truly comes from envy they will their ego will never admit it and they place judgment on you because you are different because you are strong enough to be your own self your own true beautiful authentic scorpionic self what else for Scorpio? This doubt really has um, slowed you down on your path to trusting yourself, trusting your intuitive senses here. We have Page of Cups, again, speaks of friendship. Maybe you do have some, a few friends in your life that you can trust this is that card. I was. This card is exactly what I was just saying. The cards are coming out after I give the messages to really um, don't be afraid to just be your your inner child. That is your spiritual self. That is linked to the spiritual world. Have fun with life. Get excited about each and every moment of life, and have and ask ask for more. Bring me more joy, more more fun. I want to. Uh, bring more souls into my experience that um, are uh, curious about life and what it is that we could create together. 
We have to be alone for a portion of our journey. That's because we are going through healing and growth and wisdom. But now it seems like it's the time for you to sort of open yourself back up to connecting to others. Friendship, Page of Cups, opening your heart back up, trusting Four of Cups, indifference. And there we go with the judgment. There may be times where you find that you are actually judging others, not using full discernment. You're a little indifferent. I don't know how I want to feel about um, opening myself up to others. You may have had encounters with some people that were potential. Um, potential friends. But there's something that's a little guarded within you. You're not sure how you, you, there's a, a little bit of indifference still there because of this beat down that you got from from people in your past. And um, trust me, that lashback, you're feeling that lashback also energetically. So if you're not even experiencing the judgment and the um, the scapegoating, the gaslighting, the um, just ostracizing completely from others, um, you're definitely feeling their whatever they're going through right now. Because these are definitely soul connections. We sign up to have these experiences here, Scorpio. So your spidey senses are correct. Do not uh, doubt your abilities and your intuition here. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful. We have the Empress. The Empress energy is coming in. Um, the Angel of Abundance. The Empress is fertile. She is actually pregnant in this card and in many of the cards of the tarot. Um, you're definitely uh, about to birth something new here, Scorpio. So definitely want to get out of that energy of doubt doubting yourself and needing just to know maybe you're too far um, into predicting your future and you want to be mindful of that because if we predict our future our future based off of our past experiences our future becomes predictable and then you end up li living the same old predictable future over and over again expand your mind you're about to birth something new you are moving away departure from these old experiences that have really robbed you from your generous, beautiful self that you are very given, giving, and that you're getting some recognition here as well. Probably from those who have done you wrong, they may be starting to recognize themselves. I was explaining this to somebody earlier that um, when we get, because a lot of humans go through this, um, and we've witnessed others go through this, where if you're not fully um, embracing your divinity and your light and your inner child, and you're still really deeply in your pain body, that pain can swirl around like a black hole and it can consume you. And when people are consumed by the dark black hole of their pain body, they become um, very self-centered. They aren't able to see what, what we can see. They're not able to see how they are causing harm to others. They're all, the only thing they can see in this black hole is themselves and their own pain and fear. So uh, they do cause a lot of pain. And we probably, we go through this part of the journey. I recognize that in myself, in my past. And I have definitely reconciled those uh, areas of my life. But um, it is part of going deeper into unconsciousness. Well, those who have been really in the depth of their own unconsciousness are going, getting a big wake up call right now. They're going through an awakening and maybe in that dark night of the soul. So you may be feeling those projections coming out at you. <clears throat> Have those energetic boundaries. That's the energy. That's the energy. That's the video I posted yesterday about boundaries. Uh, so check that out if you feel called to. Having those um, psychic boundaries, spiritual boundaries, energetic boundaries. This is the time to really um, get all the tools that you know you, that will work to stay in your sovereignty. Get yourself, get your energy back. Stay in your energy field and don't let any 
thing penetrate unless it's of love and light. What else do we have for Scorpio, please? You're moving away from this, whatever uh, energy had caused you to feel lonely. I feel that you are actually connecting to others, even if it's just one, you're having a companionship that you can really bounce things off of and, and enjoy conversation and enjoy life with again. Ace of emotions, nine of uh, aspiration and the death card. Yeah. <laughs> Again, reiterating exactly what I just said. So you, you most likely do have at least one or some new connections or old connections that you really resonate with back in your life. Oops. And, um, but it's a new feeling. It's a new old feeling. I'm hearing ace of emotions. You're finally like changing your tune around to like, I'm going to trust. I'm going to come out of my shell. I'm going to take my walls down, my barriers down and trust that there are good people on this planet. There are good souls that really want to connect and resonate with me. No longer, um, there's that card of indifference again, no longer keeping those walls and those barriers up. This is what's changing. There's your card right there, Scorpio, death, stripping away the old and rebirthing fertility, birthing, the new and improved life experience that Scorpio definitely wants to have. You're having it. You are opening yourself up to this. Beautiful. And get excited about it. It's exciting. Tell me about this Four of Cups. All right. With the Judgment card, um... When we place judgment, it, it bounces back to us. So does, as within, so, so without. Um, when others place judgment on us, it bounces back to them. So people are getting a good look in the mirror right now. Pay attention to how you feel about those who have harmed you, who have um, wished that had, you know, sent bad energy towards you or like wished harm upon you or just really judged you, uh, made fun of you, denied you, I'm hearing um, a gaslighting, a lot of gaslighting, having you question yourself. If you're still having a bad taste in your mouth about them, you want to work on that within. There's a deeper wound that needs to be healed. It needs to be brought to the surface to heal and release so that you're not holding that energy. It's an energetic game, so we don't want to project our judgment back out onto those who are going through a really dark period right now or the dark is being brought to the surface within them so that they can get a good look in the mirror at themselves we don't want that bouncing back to us judging like yeah you're a bad person or there's something wrong with you this is where you have to want to rise above it and have compassion for all who are going through whatever it is that they're going through they're going to get theirs that is not up to you. That is up to the law of karma, the cause and effect law. The universe takes care of all of that, okay? We definitely learn uh, something about ourselves when we go through these experiences. And it's not that anybody is better than anybody else. Rising above it means to see it from a higher perspective, to see that everybody is of one source and that they're those who are actually causing the pain are the ones that are in pain hurt people hurt people so instead of being angry or wishing harm on them having compassion and forgiveness goes a long way that goes a long way and you'll see the change in the energetics just in yourself All right, another message for you, Scorpio, is to really be mindful of how much um, energy you're actually giving to those who are still in the dark and cannot see. You tend to be an overgiver at times. You have the gift of giving and helping and assisting. But be mindful if that is depleting you and you end up getting sucked back into someone else's energy or that black hole, 
be mindful again that video I did yesterday on those energetic boundaries because when we have connections ties to people if we don't detach ourselves from their energy fully even if we're not in the same state the same country that energy will lash back around and it will really try to pull you down into their energy um, and you don't, you can't make it up these are psychic attacks you may wake up one day and be like oh why do i feel this nasty way it is not your energy it's someone else's so bring your energy back to yourself watch how much you are giving this is there's a reason for you to learn this lesson scorpio this is codependency people pleasing giving too much because maybe with the expectation of i'll be accepted i won't or i won't get um a lash back maybe you grew up in a family like you had to do what what others wanted you to do or you'd be punished severely be mindful of that energy okay overall energy here scorpio we have the three of inspiration letting everything fall into place as it will try not to control anything at this time very important message here scorpio the, everything is happening for in divine order everything is happening for a very specific reason so try not to get involved or um unless it calls for you if it comes to you to actually and you feel a resonance like i i probably should say something you will know but this card is telling me let things let everything fall into place it will fall into place okay I'm going to get one last message for you, Scorpio. Wow, what a, whew, a lot of energy in this reading. I feel like I went really, really fast, so I apologize for that. This energy is ah, moving fast through me. But if you are liking this video so far, Scorpio, please take the time to click that thumbs up like button below this video. I, oh, I appreciate all of you who do take the time to do that. That helps with the channel growth, helps with the al algorithms here on YouTube. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and uh, feel free to comment. I love to read all of your comments. Um, and, uh, if you are looking for a personal reading with me, you can book that through my website, which is be the change 333.com. That information is also in the description box below this video. All right, Scorpio, here's your last message for today. We have black cockatoo, herald, confidence, companionship, and communication. You may have somebody coming in to communicate to you. Let's see what this says in the book. Because something new, the Empress, is, is about to arrive. It could be somebody that has been in the darkness that you have given too much to. But be mindful, you be discerning. It's not to not open your heart up to others who may have had a change of heart or have seen their ways. But what are you, you want to be discerning as to how much you give. Slow and steady, I'm hearing. Okay. <clears throat> Just as Cockatoo's call comes to announce the coming of rain, he screeches into your world now to herald the coming of a downpour of positive support to grow the seeds of your dreams to fruition. When Cockatoo calls, this is a moment to celebrate. The energy of your circumstance is shifting. Go with it. Trust the greatness that is rising in you. Move with absolute confidence as you step forward in faith the path will rise to meet you. Expect the very best and give yourself the gift of fully receiving it. The support you need may come in the form of external assistance or an internal epiphany. It may come in the realization of an ally or rich resource that you already have, to, have access to, ready to become an even more valuable companion on your journey. Cockatoo's message reminds us that while we each have our own path to walk, life is sweetest in partnership with others. Sometimes we become so focused on the end game of our own mission that we forget how important relationships are 
and that those we love and work with have dreams of their own. From time to time, we each need validation for the part that we play. Take time to share your affection and admiration with those who are important to you. Share yourself authentically and emotionally. Don't assume that others know how much they mean to you. Take time to tell them, or better yet, show them that you care. Amidst the journey of your own dreams, discover the joys of devoting your attention and encouraging and uplifting uh, and, uh, and lifting up the dreams of others. Pick someone you love today and ask yourself, how best can I encourage their journey? What is the one thing I can do today to support the realization of their dream? So Scorpio, it sees that um, you definitely have the gift of empowerment and upliftment as well. So that definitely is something that you can give, but just be mindful of um, how much you give. You can't give more than you already have to give to yourself. So that is your message for this week, Scorpio. I hope that you find this helpful for you. I'm sending you out so much love. Take care. Bye.